Body of missing college student Riley Strain found in river, police say. The two-week search for missing University of Missouri student Riley Strain is over after authorities pulled the 22-year-old's body from the Cumberland River on Friday morning. Strain's body, found eight miles downriver from where he was last seen, still had on the shirt he was wearing when he went missing on March 8 after getting kicked out of Luke's 32 Bridge in downtown Nashville, according to Metro Nashville Police Department Chief John Drake. Authorities do not suspect foul play in his disappearance nor his death, Drake said just hours after the 22-year-old was found dead. Strain's body being found was first reported to authorities by barge operators near the river. Drake said workers were working to remove an object from the river when they spotted the body. They noticed what appeared to be Riley Strain pop up, Drake said, adding the Nashville Fire Department responded and pulled the body from the river. The medical examiner's office reviewed the body, and we've confirmed that it is Riley Strain. Strain's body was found after two weeks of extensive search by air, boat and on foot that included the Metro Nashville Police Department, Nashville Fire Department, Nashville's Office of Emergency Management, Cheatham County Sheriff's Office, the United Cajun Navy and countless volunteers were involved in the search. Strain's disappearance caught the attention of national and social media, which led to much unfounded speculation around the circumstances of his disappearance and death. A TikToker finding Strain's bank card on the banks of the Cumberland River stoked the flame of speculation even further. From the beginning, authorities emphasized there was no evidence to support claims of foul play. The police department was flooded with tips about the potential for foul play in the case, but none that were vetted turned up any leads, Sergeant Robert Nielsen said. Videos released by businesses and police show strain stumbling and falling around Nashville after being kicked out of the bar. The Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission has launched an investigation into whether Strain was overserved alcohol on the night of his disappearance. Luke's 32 Bridge claims Strain was served just one alcoholic beverage and two waters while he was at the bar. The Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission has worked with local law enforcement to determine where else he was served alcohol that night. All licensed establishments questioned have been cooperative, an agency spokesman said. The final report will be made public once the investigation has been closed. Drake said Strain's family has been notified of his recovery.